cataractcoach.com, achieving surgical efficiency. So a young surgeon here does a very efficient cataract surgery. Let's watch. Routine case here, unedited. There's a timer on the bottom right corner of the screen on the original video. I didn't add that. Now starting with a pair of these there. Good draping, eye and primary, beautiful red reflex. Now holding on to the eye, here comes a second paracentesis incision. There you go. And even a third. Okay. So we've got three paracentesis incisions here. And we're going to watch this case to be see how efficient it is. Now here comes an AC maintainer. So that's a little bit different compared to most surgeons. Now doing a rexus without viscoelastic and just using an AC maintainer is actually more difficult. The reason is the capsule will float around a lot. It'll flap around in there. You'll see, watch, get the Rex to start with a cystotome. And that's being done with a cystotome through a paracentesis only, no main incision, in order to keep the AC formed. If you had a big incision, look how much that thing flops around. You'd have more AC instability. So that's why it's being done through a para. Bent needles, all you need. Look at that. The capsule that's been torn, that cap is going to be aspirated out with the phaco probe. Now let's see here. Probably a hydrodissection. Yeah, a little bit of hydrodissection. There's a good fluid wave. And then that's probably all it takes. It kind of looked like it tended up the capsule a little bit there, so maybe cortical cleaving hydrosection. Here comes the main incision. Now enlarging one of those paras into the main incision. There it is. And now let's see the FACO technique here. And to be an efficient surgeon, listen, I agree. You can do divide and conquer. Be happy. Do what makes you happy. Do stop and chop. It's all good. You should learn all the techniques. But really for efficiency, you want to do some sort of technique that's going to be a lot faster for nucleus disassembly, like chop. So let's see here. There's the chop or the ball tip. And, oh, pulling on the cons there a little bit to prevent chemosis. Oh, that's a slick technique. I've seen that before. Oh, going around with a ball tip chopper to loosen it up from the capsular back. And now look at that. The Rosatelli spin, like Neto Rosatelli from Brazil. That's the Brazilian spin. Look how fast that thing spins around. That really loosens up all the cortex. Now, there's a chop. You got two halves, very efficient. Here's another chop. Now you got some quadrants. Just remove the pieces. Now you get maybe... A, Another chop, yep, now you got four quadrants. Probably just wolf them down at this point. Just go in there, aspirate the pieces, go, 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 bring them up. And then, yeah, using the chopper to help bring those things up, that's a useful technique here. At this point, your scrub tech's already probably loading up your lens to make it even more efficient. And getting the next patient's all ready for you. So here we go, half the nuke is already out, here comes the other pieces. And let's see how effective that spin was. Yep, bring those pieces up. Aspirate, aspirate, bare amount of phaco energy. And they say, well, what about no viscoelastic? Well, you know, it's the surgeon's preference. I think the viscoelastic has some good protective properties over the corneal endothelium, helps to maintain space in the eye. But in this situation, there's very minimal amount of phaco energy just using that chop technique here. So these can still have a very clean cornea the next morning. Look at that. That looks fantastic. The capsule bag looks pretty clean. That looks really quite good. Now, let's see, just hydro implantation of the eye well going inside there. There it is. Lens goes right in the capsule bag. The bag's being inflated by that AC maintainer. And now get this thing dialed in here, and you're basically done with the case. You just seal up your incisions. So very effective technique here. Efficient, not only time efficient, well, you can also say well, it's also cost efficient. So I tend not to like surgery this way. I tend to do it with viscoelastic. Hey, maybe I'm a more wasteful surgeon or a more expensive surgeon, that's for sure. And now sealing up the incisions here at the end as the eye well unfolds, the patient's going to have a really nice outcome. So leave a comment below. What do you think of this efficient surgery? It's just, a, to me, it's a beautiful case. And this is, to, you know, to serve your patient population. You know, when I saw lectures there in Brazil at the Brazilian Catacrofactor meeting um, in May, early this year in Rio de Janeiro, there were some surgeons explaining how they're doing more than 100 facos a day, sometimes 150 a day, and they have to be ultra-efficient in order to achieve that. And often that means, yeah, no viscoelastic and hydroimplantation of the eye well, and these types of techniques, and it tends to work well. But sometimes you come to my clinic in Beverly Hills, and it's a lot slower. So here we go, cataractcoach.com. Remember, we got a new teaching video coming up every single day and our Cataract Coach podcast. You will love it, and you'll learn so much. Check it out.